Hello, and thank you for being a dedicated WeSend customer. I would like to show, I would like to take a few minutes and show you how to transfer we, the WeSend software from an old computer to a new computer you may have just purchased. A lot of customers we have run into this problem when they have an old computer and would like to transfer the software onto a new computer. So I thought I would take a few minutes and give you a video to show you how to do such. There's a few things you have to do, one being you have to physically install the software onto the new computer, and you can do that using the CD we provided when you borrow our software. There's also a file you can copy from your old computer onto the new computer after you've already installed the software that will save all your settings for your leads, your layers, and any machine settings you may have set up already. For example, if you have a Dynatorch machine, it will set up your machine extents, your plasma setups, your layer setups, and anything else that's in there. So let me take a few minutes and show you how to do that. Well, like I said, after you've already had that software installed, you can copy one file from the existing computer onto the new one. And what that file is, is called a CMDB file. And it's located in a directory on your old computer. And to get to that directory, you can simply go to Windows Explorer, Local Disk C, Program Files 86, scroll down in that menu, and there's a WeSim folder. And under, and under that folder, you're going to use the 19. And in that folder, there'll be a folder called Database. And in that database folder, there will be a file called cmdb.mdb. That is the file that saves all your settings that you have saved in WeSim. For example, your lead setups and your lead parameters and your layer parameters and your machine settings. So that's what you need to copy into the new computer's database for our software. And all you would do would be to simply copy this file go to your new computer now for example we'll say this is a new computer that we've already installed WeSim on go back to our Windows Explorer go to our C drive program files 86 the WeSim folder 19 or any other version you're currently using database and then you would paste that into the folder and that's simply all you have to do and what that will allow you to do is when you open up WeSim in your configuration manager all your settings will be saved as if you've been using it previously. You may have not even opened a file in the program yet, but your settings will still be there. Your materials, your operations, for example, your leads, everything will be set just like it was before. So you don't have to go through there and set up anything you've already set up before. Um, that's just, that's basically all there is to it. Um, a lot of customers we have go through this and they, I get a lot of phone calls on how to you know, transfer their files to a new computer, and that's as simple as it gets right there, guys. And uh, I'd like, like to thank you all again for using our software and being such good customers. Um, be looking forward to some new videos in the um, WeSim version 20 release. It's certainly the biggest, uh, most adventurous thing we've ever done with the software. There's a lot of new features involved, so um, be looking forward to that. And I hope to be hearing from you guys. Thanks.